Okay, here we are back inside Make to School once again. Thanks for tuning in. Hope the videos are helping you in your designing process. If they are, please smash that subscription, uh, tap on that notification bell, uh, leave me a like, and please leave me a comment. Uh, those all really just help my algorithm to get the videos out there. Uh, if you believe that there's a lot of money into this, <laughs> you're, you're probably mistaken. It probably buys me coffee for a couple days, uh, the money that I make off these videos. But I hope they're helping out. Uh, so please uh, leave a comment. It really helps, uh, or any of those items. Uh, it just helps the algorithm get the video out there and to more people. Uh, and we want to help as many people as possible. That's why I do the videos. And actually, they, those video uh, likes and comments and everything really keep me uh, producing content. So please uh, help a brother out and uh, uh, do one of those for me, if you would. Uh, today, what we're going to talk about is something that maybe speed up the little uh, the process, design process especially if you're a manufacturer or you're a designer uh, you have your own website and you want to make uh, different designs very quickly uh, or maybe if you have a customer sitting there and they want to have input as you're doing designs for like an engagement ring or some kind of a cathedral ring or uh, halo ring there's a lot of uh, options that you have with this uh, so hopefully this will kind of speed things up a little bit some of you may may, may know about it some of you may not so uh, if you know about it already please go ahead and leave that let me know so we don't i don't produce content that you already know uh, if you don't know it that's good to know too so i'm, I'm on the right track and in, in helping people out uh, so let's get going on this. First thing we want to do is grab a uh, ring rail, of course, and we'll just go ahead. And a lot of this at the beginning will be just normal stuff. And we'll grab a profile. And I will adjust that profile over a little bit. Uh, and I'll go ahead and hold down shift so we can put there at the 25 and at the uh, 50. Uh, and then I'll just go ahead. I'm going to take the defaults on all this right now. I'm not going to worry about uh, changing any of these right just yet, right? Uh, but I will go back and I'll select this top one and I will mirror it over to the other side and I'll select this one here and mirror that as well. So, <clears throat> but what we have to do is just manipulate these three and everything will be worked out accordingly now. All right, uh, with this one, what I'm going to do, this will work like on a one rail, a ring rail, right? Uh, or you could do a, a offset ring rail, a cathedral ring rail, or a bypass. It'll work on all these. Uh, and it, I'm using 3.8, and I know it will work in 3.7, so I'm assuming uh, earlier versions it will work as well. Uh, so with this video, we'll do just an outside ring rail because it'll give us a little bit. Uh, more options here so we can kind of design different things so let's go to did i do a ring roll again uh let's let's uh let's yeah i did so let's back out of that go to the outside ring rail and we'll just get something that we can uh do some more different kinds of with a euro type shank on the bottom and we'll click on that and we'll adjust this and again you can adjust this any uh, any way you want and i like rings that go thud so 2.5 by 2.5 uh, instead of teen right so it's got some meat to it when you're selling jewelry you're selling memories uh each piece of jewelry has a memory to it is attached to it uh, I don't know anybody that owns a piece of jewelry that doesn't know who gave it to them where they got it why they got it there's the story and that story can be passed down through generations uh, with uh, if you make the item uh, nice enough and thick enough where it's going to hold up it's not going to uh, you know uh, be something that's going to wear out very quickly so they'll be able to pass it down to their children their children will be able to pass it down to theirs if it's something they'd like to do so i like to make the rings a little bit heavier and make it more of a uh, memorial piece or memory piece for uh, the family uh, so i'm going to select the uh, pro one of the profiles right go to edit and i'm just going to go to my outside ring rail and snap all those to the the ring rail outside ring rail so they're all adjusted right and i'll just right click to accept that we'll go to our service nothing new here so far sweep two uh select the first ring rail second ring rail and then all our profiles and then hit enter uh and we'll give it some shading so we can kind of see 
what's going on uh and we'll just keep it like that uh, default settings for the most part so far and i'll switch from machine to uh, plastic uh, and the reason being is i can see all my curves with machine you cannot see your curves so i'll switch to plastic to make sure that i can pick my curves very easily and it gives me that kind of plastic image uh, so i i think it's a little bit better to see uh uh, what it's going to look like right uh in my opinion so i'll just go to a uh, plastic here <clears throat> now <clears throat> excuse me we want to go ahead and, and try to get everything set up as much as possible before we start really going crazy on this uh so i'm going to grab me a gem and just go uh gem on ring rails uh, and it'll just go ahead and slap that gem up there and we can manipulate whatever height we want and we'll just go ahead and hit enter uh select the default you know like i said we're not going to change too much in the beginning uh, just kind of set it up so then we can go wild on it here in a few seconds uh from there i'll grab the gem and we'll go to settings and we'll just put a head on there and I have a style that I'll use for this video uh, made prior uh, that I made a while back uh, and I'll just select this head here uh, and uh, it'll put it up there and uh, it's right there on my ring rail so I'll just click off that and I'll just kind of uh, go back to edit I'll remember I'll always go back to edit uh, and then drag that up a little bit so it takes my head up just a little bit right uh, now I could, you know, adjust my head too. So either way, uh, now I want to, I, like I said, we want to go ahead and put, get it all set up. So let's go ahead and just grab this ring rail again, go back to our tools and, and close off that where we're going to have that, uh, bar going across to be able to set our head in there. Right. We can put a peg on that head and, uh, put that in there. I'll drag that over here and I'll go and change that profile uh and pick this one right uh and then do a little bit of just because we don't need it so wide right now it's a four millimeter i'm going to take that down to half two millimeter and then i'll drag that width down to a 1.5 something like that and then i will mirror that as well uh and then hit enter and then just go ahead and sweep that so we can go ahead and take care of that part there so this ring rail uh select profile this profile that profile and then hit enter it's going the wrong way so we'll flip that uh and uh just go ahead and take it i'm not going to worry about this right now because we're going to do a lot of manipulation so right now we have our first uh solitaire so i'm going to start uh solitaire and actually let's go back in here and i'll delete uh these real quick uh, so I can kind of show you what we're doing here. I made these earlier just as a test to see. And as you can see, I made quite a few, right? And that's what we're going to kind of do, kind of do, uh, is I'm going to start a new uh, project and call it Solitaire Rings, right? And this is really good for your customer if they're sitting there and they want to put input in and they're making a solitaire ring or uh, engagement ring, right? Uh, so you can uh, have them sit there and be able to update this all day long. Now, usually what we want to do when we want to update it uh, is uh, we'll go in and we'll uh, grab a profile, right? And we'll select the profile. We'll go to edit and we want to change that profile to something a little different. We'll select our profile library. We'll come over here and add something so it changes that shank up and you can kind of start uh, manipulating it, right? But what we have to do is we have to select the profile, right? Go to edit, go to your profile library and come back over here and uh, select the profile, which makes the profile menu uh, disappear. Uh, and then you have to go back to your profile, back to your profile, back to your, just keep on doing that. Right. Which is kind of uh, gets to be a little annoying and we want to speed things up. Right. So I'm just going to go ahead and select off that right there uh, and we'll go to this one here just to get going on it and now i'm going to go to my edit and i'm going to go to my profile a library except this time what i'm going to do is i'm just going to click on this uh, right now it's locked to this part so i'm going to unlock it so that it's a floating menu now right so now what i can do is i can 
select a profile and my menu doesn't disappear right so i can select that one change it i can go up here select this one change it uh, i can go down here select this one and change it and now i have a total different ring right uh, and I can go ahead and accept that and maybe I want to go back in and readjust my profiles uh, So that there it's a little bit more closed up there But still give me enough room to be able to get that head in there, right? Maybe something like that uh, and I can go ahead and continue changing it if I want to but I can also go back and select my outside ring rail uh, adjust my outside ring rail maybe I want it a little higher there uh, and keep manipulating profiles and everything right and when I get one that I like or that I'm kind of in find interesting and I want to print up see what it looks like print out uh, I'll just go ahead right click it go ahead take it and job bag it all right now it maintains all its history so I can go back in there and alter and add gemstones put beads on it all kind of extra work on top of it right but not only as I can continue going ahead and selecting that profile you have to go to edit each time uh, and, but you don't go to your profile I would use come over here and say we want something like that on there oh yeah that looks good <laughs> excuse me <clears throat> uh, you know you like something like that but maybe you want to give it a little bit more character so we can go back to our sweep uh, and go to our sweep and maintain height and bump that out so now it gives it a little bit different look uh, and you can go in there and keep uh, right click accept that go back to your profile uh, select profile don't go to your uh, library just come on over here uh, and say we want something like this one here and maybe change this one up a little bit uh maybe i don't know something like this here so it, it changes that you know and we can adjust those profiles any of them at any time uh to make it a little wider or something like that uh, and then once you get one that you like let's change this one a little bit uh let's change it to this thing here yeah yeah there you go something like that uh right click off of it go ahead select it go ahead and uh, job bag that next one there right and then keep on manipulating uh those profiles uh go to edit and then come on down here to maybe you want something like this here want to change this one up here to i don't know something like this uh and maybe you like that style maybe you want to adjust this uh, thickness a little bit make it a little bit more thinner going in uh you know you, all day long you can sit there and uh, manipulate that just select it go ahead and job bag it and keep going back uh and redoing the profiles Oh, don't forget to go to edit uh, and then select what profile you want to edit and you can continue to uh, manipulate and make many, many different uh, styles uh, very, very quickly, right? Go something here. Let's do something like this here. So we got something like that. Go <laughs> uh, but you can see what I'm talking about. Maybe we want to bump that out a little bit. You can do all kinds of manipulation. Uh, and something like, let's move down here. Let's go with something. Let's check this out. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Maybe this one here. Sorry, I closed that out. Edit. Let's do something like this just to see what it looks like. And check, pick this one. Go and do something like this. Well, that doesn't look very good so we'll change it to something different but you can see that you can uh, change that up and get tons of different designs very very quickly uh, and you still go back and manipulate any of those in any way that you want and once you get one that you kind of think is interesting go ahead select it all job bag it and continue to do other items and you can also go back to your stones and uh, grab a different stone maybe an oval stone right and you can adjust the size uh, and just go ahead and take it and go back to your profiles uh, go back to your edit maybe bump that over a little bit which changes the design a little and then keep on manipulating uh, to ooh wow okay let's check this out keep on manipulating to see what kind of designs you can get 
Oh, that looks pretty cool. Uh, very quickly, right? So you can get a lot of different designs in there just by going in and uh, selecting different things very quickly and very easily. Yeah, there you go. There's something a little different. Maybe you want to check that one out. So go ahead, save it uh, very quickly, right? Uh, and keep changing them around. You can change the head, change the gemstones. Uh, just a lot of different things you can do. Uh, very quickly by just dragging that to make it a floating viewport uh, which is uh, very nice right so after you get it right uh, and you say you like those uh, you can go ahead and select it delete it all refresh your uh, viewports just to give you a whole clean start and once that loads up, you can go back and select any of them that you want to. And wait for that to load. And you can continue manipulating it if you wanted to. Oh, I added another one in there. My bad. But that go work its magic and I'll just delete it or go back one so we just have the one out there right uh, now I can go back to my profile go back to edit select the profile now if I do it this way again it gives me that floating viewport so I can continue to manipulate it uh, if I wanted to right uh, and again I can go and adjust things or whatever very quickly right and continue to uh, update or if i wanted to put gemstones in there uh or anything like that you can go and do that as well but you can see how very very quickly you can get a ton of different designs out here uh just by unlocking this viewport instead of having to go back and edit edit edit, edit uh, all the time so hopefully this helps and if it does please go ahead like i said and do uh, one of the many <laughs> smash the subscribe tap on like leave a notification uh tap on the notification bell and a comment comments really be appreciated uh thanks and share the content uh thanks for watching a uh, good designing have a great day